Hello. Thank you for joining our today's webinar session that is organized by scientific web community scientist.by and Belarusian State University. The main goal of our webinar session is to share our knowledge and understanding of the certain scientific area. During today's session we will discuss Fish Signals Digital Segmentation Foundation. The main researcher in this area at Belarusian State University at the Department of Intelligence Systems is Dmitry Pekar. And the research coach is me, the presenter of today's offline version of webinar session, Sergei Tihanenko. Here is agenda of our presentation. We will start with speech application areas in introduction section, then consider basic concepts features for signal presentation, after which algorithms for speech segmentation task will be observed. At the next step, we will have a look of several samples of model-free and model-based algorithm. And the last stage is a conclusion where findings regarding speech segmentations are collected. Speech is a native way for human communication, which can be applied in different areas like speaker verification, identification task, automated speech recognition system, language identification based on analysis of a pronounced sentence, and speech corpus segmentation for study purposes. Also, an analysis of human speech or voice has a wide healthcare application. Based on voice, sonogram, respiratory disease, can be successfully revealed and an analysis of pronounced speech can detect stuttering and can help to estimate scale of speech impairment. The main purpose of speech segmentation is to divide input speech into sentences of segments with similar characteristics. Conduction speech segmentation we can follow two strategies. The first one is blind segmentation. This happens when segmentation takes place without any prior knowledge of signal being processed. Mentioned strategy provides text, language and speaker independence. The second one is a case when we take into account prior knowledge, for instance samples of phonemes, allophones or diphones or use some language model. This strategy can improve general performance but at the same time it leads to some constraints. On this slide you can see samples of different models. On the left hand side a probabilistic phonetic feature hierarchy based model is presented. This model looks like a tree in which each phonetic feature is connected with individual probability of its occurrence. On the right hand side you can see phonetic feature-based language model for pronunciation of the digit zero. There are many different approaches and proposed algorithms related to speech segmentation. Most of all could be projected on presenting simplified structure. Such kind of algorithms take speech data as input and provides a sequence of segments as output. These segments could correspond to phonemes, allophones, or to voice, no voice periods of speech. First stage in speech processing engine is preprocessing. During this step, speech signal is modified to remove insignificant components, noise, adjust contained frequencies, and improve quality of a signal at all. The next is feature extraction step which is responsible for the compressed and the same time enough representative presentation of a signal for further analysis. Redundant presentation can slow down performance of algorithm at all. Feature processing step is responsible for calculation different kind of probabilities, distributions, estimations, statistics, based on which further logic could make decision regarding boundary position between adjacent segments. On boundary detection step, 
final decision about boundary position is made. There is a really huge number of different features for signal pre presentation, but all of them could be divided into four categories. Classification is based on the domain in which analysis is performed. On next slide, it's shown how analyzed features could be visualized. In top left corner, distance between power spectral densities is presented. In top right part, zero crossing and short term energy curves are plotted. Also, wavelet transformation and formant analysis is widely used, that is shown in bottom left and bottom right corner respectively. All type of algorithms could be divided into two groups, based on whether any prior information or models are used. Algorithms from the first group are so-called machine learning algorithms, such as hidden Markov models, support vector machine, decision tree. Algorithms from the second group make decisions based on predefined constraints, threshold, and current results of analysis of incoming speech. Here are two model-free algorithms. Flowchart on the left side is based on zero crossing rate evaluation and power spectral density analysis. Flowchart on the right side is based on the pitch analysis. On the next slide, there are a flowchart of algorithm which uses combination of different features such as uh, short-term energy analysis, zero crossing rate and pitch detection techniques is presented. Coming to the next slide, it is possible to see flowchart of proposed algorithm for speech segmentation task. It consists of three stages pre-processing, evaluation the distance between power spectral densities and borders obtaining. On the right, the diagrams with analyzed covers are presented. The key idea of presented on the next slide algorithm is an analysis of distances between two normalized power spectral densities adjacent short-term frames. Noise spectral subtraction is used for signal quality enhancement. After distance evaluation between power spectral densities has been calculated, algorithm for boundary detection is applied. On the next slide, results show that proposed algorithm provides satisfactory occurrence in speech segmentation task. Additionally, it can be found out that achieving the best results distinct parameters of the algorithm must be fitted to each other. Here, an efficient algorithm based on hidden Markov models is presented. In proposed algorithm, text transactions and language model is used as a prior knowledge. As a conclusion, it is possible to say that speech is a native way for human communication, hence it is the easiest solution for interaction between humans and computers. Speech is a biometric property consequently can be treated as individual signature in identification and verification systems. Speech is a complex noise process that can be analyzed equally in frequency and time domain by applying different kind of features. Defects in vocal tract and respiratory disease can be successfully revealed through speech and voice analysis. 
Thank you very much for being with us and for your attention. And for questions and discussions, please come to our web portal at www.scientist.by where you can find out a forum and you can discuss this webinar in a certain topic. Thank you and goodbye.